Today, I want to talk about an iPhone bug that could prevent you from using cellular data with your new wireless carrier. Hey guys, today I wanted to tell you about a bug with the iPhone. With this bug, it could prevent you from using cellular data with your new wireless carrier. And I'm going to tell you about the bug, explain what's causing the problem, and how you can work around it. Before we get started, this video might be a little bit long. If you don't have an iPhone or you're not experiencing this problem, it may not be that interesting. All right, now that said, let's get to it. I have an iPhone 6S. I put a Verizon SIM in it. You can see I have this error message, could not activate cellular data network. You are not subscribed to a cellular data service. If you see this message, you might be experiencing this bug. Now you could see this message even if you're not experiencing the bug. So I'm gonna walk through a bunch of steps and explain this to you. So what this error message is telling you is that the access point name or APN on your phone is not set correctly. Now, when you put that SIM from your new carrier in your iPhone, usually the iPhone just automatically sets up the APN. You don't have to do anything. Now, for some carriers, you need to go into the settings and manually find the settings page for the APN and then enter a bunch of values. But on the iPhone, for most carriers with iOS 10 and iOS 11, you just put the SIM in and it works. What the carriers do, is, many of the carriers do, is they hide the APN settings in the iPhone. So you can't go and find them and set them anyway. There's no place in the settings to enter the, the APN information. So they set it automatically, and then they make the settings page invisible. And that's fine as long as the iPhone sets up your APN correctly. But in some cases, the APN gets set up incorrectly for some carriers. And they have a way of working around that, and that's called an APN configuration profile. So for many carriers, when you sign up, you have to install an APN configuration profile to get your data to work. If you use any of the TrackPhone brand networks like Straight Talk, TrackPhone, Net10, Total Wireless, you may have installed an APN profile when you set up your phone on those networks to get your cellular data working. Other networks use them as well. It's not just TrackPhone. If you're using Freedom Pop or a number of other carriers, you may have installed an APN profile as well. If you're switching carriers and you see this message, you may either need to set your APN or remove the APN carrier profile that you previously installed. So I'm trying to use cellular data with Verizon's network here, and it's not working. Let me show you the carrier profile. So if you go into settings, you go down to general, and you scroll all the way to the bottom between VPN and regulatory, you'll see here the option profile. If you don't have any profiles or if you don't have an APN profile installed, that profile option may not be there, is, is probably not going to be there. Uh, there are some cases where you'll see the profile option and it'll just be blank. But in most cases, if you didn't install a profile, there's nothing there. And there are a bunch of different types of profiles that you could install. And one of those is a custom APN profile. You'll see here I have an APN profile installed and we'll just take a look at it. Now I'll look at the details. So you can see this profile is for the wireless carrier TrackPhone, and it's for TrackPhone's Verizon Towers, and it says trackphone.vzentp. That's the APN for TrackPhone's Verizon network. And this is what it should normally look like on your iPhone. So if you're unable to use your data, check to see if you have a profile installed, and then if you do, you just need to remove it. Now you'll need to enter your passcode, Now I've removed the profile, and then if I go back to the Safari browser, I can reload smartphonematters.com, and you'll see that my cellular data is working. So that's how this should normally work. If you see that error message, check to see if you have a carrier profile installed and remove it. Now I want to tell you about the bug. The problem with some of the later versions of iOS 10 and iOS 11 up through iOS 11.4, which is the current version of iOS at the time I'm making this video, is that the carrier profile disappears out of the settings. So there's some kind of bug in these versions of iOS where the carrier profile doesn't show up in the settings. And when that happens, you can't delete the carrier profile. Now, when you signed up for your wireless carrier, you may have installed one of these carrier profiles. They gave you a web link that you opened in Safari and you installed the profile. Maybe you even forgot about it. I've talked to many people that have had problems with cellular data and they just need to install the profile to get it to work. So lots of people have these installed on their phones. And then when you update to these later versions of iOS, it disappears from the settings. You don't know you have it installed and there's no way to use cellular data with your new carrier. So let me show you a couple other steps of what happens here. 
I'm going to go in Safari to a site called iPhoneFlexServe.net. And this is a site that lets you uh, download profiles for APN profiles for a number of different networks. I'm going to choose US and I'll choose the same one that I had installed before, the TrackPhone Verizon network. I'll generate the profile. And when you install one of these profiles, you'll see this message from Safari asking you if it can open the settings to uh, show this to you. I'll say allow. And then here's the profile. You can review the details of it before you install it. And then you would install it. Again, you'll need to enter your passcode. And I've installed the profile. Immediately, you'll see I'm unable to use cellular data because I've installed this profile. Now, if we went back to the settings, we would see that the profile is present in the settings. You'll see it's there. And I'm going to remove it one more time. All right, now let me show you what happens if you install the profiles that TrackPhone gave to their customers. This is where the bug comes in. There's something about these older profiles that are not compatible with the later versions of iOS 10 or iOS 11. So on smartphonematters.com, I had links to all these profiles because a lot of people were asking me where to find them. These are just pointing to these files over on trackphone.com. So I'm gonna install the profile for the same APN. And you'll see this uh, message again asking to open settings to view this. I'll say allow. This profile is for the exact same APN, exact same APN name. So I'm going to install it. And then again, I need to enter my passcode. Now watch carefully what happens when I install it. I see the error message. Profile installation failed. Couldn't communicate with a helper application. So that message is really unclear, have no idea what that means. In most cases, if people see that, they're just going to close it. They're not going to be sure what happens. Maybe they'll Google for that message to see if they can find out what it means. What's even uh, scarier is that if you needed that profile to get your phone working, the profile was actually installed, so your data will start working. You would think, after you see that message, that there's no profile installed. Well, here's the bug. If I cancel out of this, you'll see immediately uh, could not activate cellular data network. So the profile is actually installed, but if we go look in the settings, there's no profile there. The profile option is there in the settings, but there are no profiles installed. And if you were to restart your phone, this profile option would completely disappear because if you have no profiles installed, the profile option is not displayed at all. So suppose you installed one of these things in the past. When you go back to settings and look in here, the profile option may be gone. What I just showed you was the case of if you try to install one of these older profiles on iOS 10, later versions of iOS 10 and iOS 11. Now, maybe you're thinking, well, I'll just install a new profile over that old profile and that'll solve the problem. So let me show you what happens if you try and do that. I'll turn on Wi-Fi because I still have that APN profile installed. I can't use cellular data. So I'll just pick this profile and I'll try and install this. Again, with the passcode. Immediately, you'll see this error message, profile installation failed. The UUID for the profile is not unique. So that's another error message that you could see. Now, there's another error message that you might see when you try and reinstall a profile over one that's already installed, and that's profile installation failed. Only one APN configuration can be installed at a time. So what happens with this bug is you have one of these profiles installed. There was something wrong with the installation. You can't see it in the settings to delete it, and you can't install a new profile over it because you already have a profile installed. So that's the bug. Now for the solution, or at least the workaround. Your first option is to just completely reset your phone and you're done. Now, most people don't wanna to have to completely reset their phone and wipe out everything that's on it. And in this case, you cannot just reset your phone and then restore a backup because the backup still has that profile installed and you'll be back with the same problem. 
Now, the second solution is to back up your phone, modify the backup. And when you modify the backup, what you're going to do is delete the profile out of the backup and then restore your phone. Now, when you do this, you could use iTunes on your Mac or PC to do the backup, but you cannot edit the backup file with iTunes. You're going to need to find a special app for your Mac or for Windows to edit the backup, to modify the backup. And in my case, I, I did this on my Mac. I used a program called iMazing, and iMazing has a free version and a paid version. I have the paid version. I think it was like $35 or $30. Now, there are a number of other programs like this, and many of them have a free trial or a limited functionality, free mode, and then a paid mode. And with iMazing, I'm not sure you can edit and restore the backup with the free version. I'll have to look into that since I have the paid version. I'm not sure. Check my article on smartphonematters.com. And when I have an answer to that, I'll just uh, update the article over there. I'm going to go restore my phone. I already did a backup. And at the end of the video, I'll show you the process that I went through using iMazing. All right, I'm back. I restored my iPhone 6S here with the modified backup from iMazing. I'll show you. I'll turn off the Wi-Fi. I'll open Safari. You'll see I'm able to use cellular data. I edited the backup and removed that broken profile from the backup image, and then I was able to restore cellular data connectivity to my phone. Now, at the end of the video, I'll show you a screen capture of what I did with iAmazing to fix or modify the backup file. A couple things I'll show you before I go. First, if you need to install an APN profile to use your carrier and you already have iOS 10 or 11, I recommend that you use this site, iPhoneFlexServe.net. This site, the profiles generated by this site seem to work with iOS 10 and iOS 11. And I've looked at some of the older carrier profiles that are out there, and the profiles generated by this site have more information in them, and I believe that's why they work with iOS 10 and iOS 11, and the older ones don't. All right, now before I end and show you what I did with iMazing, I want to say thanks to Randy out in Washington State. He left a bunch of comments on smartphonematters.com describing this problem and the fix. Turns out I had encountered this problem myself as well, and I was kind of confused. I didn't really know what was going on, and I hadn't had time to look into it. And then he left these amazingly detailed comments on smartphonematters.com talking about the problem and the solution. So I decided to write an article about it and make this video just so people that are searching for more information about this can find it and then hopefully fix the problems for themselves. All right, that's going to be it for this video. You can stick around and watch the screen capture from iMazing if you want to see what I did, how I edited the backup file. I'll have some instructions in the article over on smartphonematters.com as well as tell you the file you need to delete. All right, now I'm over here on my Mac. I have iMazing running. I have the iPhone Success connected. All right, I just needed to unlock the phone. Now I'm gonna back up the phone, so I'll click back up now. All right, so there's all these different options of what you can back up, and I'm just gonna take the default. I'll back it up. I think I'm gonna pause the video. I'll just come back when it's backed up. Okay, I'm back. The backup was successful. All right, now I've made the backup of my iPhone success, and then I disconnected the iPhone, and I should be able to edit the backup now. now let me see if I can show you this. So I'm here on the file system. Let's take a look at the backup. Now, there are a bunch of files here in the backup, and we're looking for managed preferences domain. So here's managed preferences domain. And you'll see there's a folder here, mobile. In the mobile folder, you'll see this file, com.apple.managecarrier.plist. This is the file that's causing the problem. I'm going to double click on that and open it up. You'll see in here, it's a list of APNs, trackphone.vzwentp. So this is what's left of that APN profile that was installed and is causing the problem. And all you need to do is delete this file. Now, in iMazing, you're going to get an error saying that this is read-only and cannot be modified. Now, because I can't delete that from this copy of the backup, I need to create an editable copy of this backup. I'll do that now. And you'll see now that's down here in the list of editable backups. I should be able to come in here. Let me clear that. Close that. Look on the file system again. We'll go back to managed preferences domain 
mobile, and then com.apple.managecarrier.plist. You got to get rid of that file. All right, now all I need to do is restore the phone from the backup. If you have more than one edible backup, make sure you restore from the correct one. Let's get this started. Restore this backup to device. I'm going to choose the iPhone 6S. Next. Not going to change any of the settings there. Now I got to turn off Find My iPhone. So let me do that right now. All right, now that's turned off. I'll click Restore. And this is going to take a while. So I'm just going to let this run. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, I was able to restore to the iPhone. Now, one point to note, if you're using iMazing and you're just watching the restoring iPhone screen, make sure you keep an eye on the phone because at some point you need to press the home button for the restore to complete. The restoring iPhone screen here will just show you that it's still restoring and it's actually waiting on you to press the home button on the phone to complete the restore. All right, that's it for the backup. Now I'm going to go back to my desk and I'll show you that I'm able to use cellular data.